Just filling up with some fuel. Gonna get on the road again. Give an introduction to what I've got my ass sitting on. See a bit of it now. Like I said, my name's Man Man. Saw all these cool cats doing helmet cam stuff. Thought I'd get on board. Just out for a bit of a uh, Thursday Arvo ride. Nothing spectacular. Testing out a new camera. Well, pretty bottom of the line. ACT20 HD helmet cam. Does 720p. A little bit grainy on the picture. Not too bad. Could be better. Takes up to 32 gig micro SD cards. Yeah, that was probably a bit touch and go there. Could have stayed at those lights. bit of a test. Unfortunately it doesn't record audio straight into the camera itself. So I'm running an old mini disc recorder at the moment. Already thinking of upgrading to the Drift HD series and either one HD 720. I've got a new ghost one that's just come out. So yeah thinking about that. Introduction on what I'm riding too. This is my bit of a custom. Thought I'd have a muck around and make myself something a bit better to ride on my L's on than just a standard mobile. Yamaha Virago XV250 96 model. The uh, paint job's custom. Looking at it straight off the shelf. Well, when I say custom, I painted it myself, but it's straight off the shelf. Ocean blue. I want to say I had it painted. I had it painted. But yeah, straight off the shelf ocean blue, nothing nothing spectacular. Looks nice. I've um, gone and bobbed the rear fender, which is actually an XV650 Yamaha Virago front fender. Rotated, obviously modified. I'll give you a look at it later on. Let's have a bit of a walk around. Another red light runner just there. So the noise that comes out of this thing isn't a stock exhaust as you probably already could gather. But uh, whoever had the bike before me laid it down on the right hand side and screwed up the original exhaust. So um, I decided that I had to get it fixed. Anywho, they lay 
laid it down so I got a mate to repair the exhaust for me it's one and three quarter inch pipe and uh, some Harley mufflers on the back would you believe it cost me all up roughly 270 bucks yeah, in comparison to a brand new genuine Yamaha part I was looking at about $450 so I thought $270 for a custom exhaust was right on the money also you can tell that I've got the uh, Pro Tapers handlebars up front gives me a more of an upright nice feel original ones were those sort of small apish hangers um, and with that they had um, angled mirror bolts so where the mirror goes in they were on a small angle maybe 15 degrees something like that but unfortunately I had a problem with the brake and the I had to replace this one but I replaced it with the straight one so therefore I had one angled control and I had one straight one so I couldn't have that so I bought a high sum one it cost me 30 bucks for the clutch lever I was pretty happy with that, they go in, just had to splice in the new connector for the high sung there, you know, go into the Yamaha, it was all good. But then I um, got a straight one, so that's cool, but they, I didn't have any mirrors when I got the bike, so I had to buy some mirrors, got some high sung mirrors. Turns out that Yamaha, for a couple of years, decided that they would um, put a left hand thread on the right hand side of their controls. So when I went to put the mirror in, didn't fit but as you can see I got it on I uh, forced it in let's say kind of re-tapped it out with an existing bolt I had so with some high sun mirrors there they, they sent me back 50 bucks probably a bit on the expensive side but I was able to just duck into a store and pick those up I didn't have to wait around for them or anything like that so yeah I've gone and put yeah, got rid of the old um, air uh, pods that are on the left and right hand side of the bike air filters replace them with um, pod filters which is a real dream to ride like I, I really enjoy it they're um they're good bikes if you're looking for a cruiser and you're a learner seriously check them out they are worth every penny if you get a good one. The biggest downfall they do have is probably the fact that the gear ratio is pretty bad. It's um has a tendency to be in fourth and want to be put into fifth but unfortunately fifth a bit labouring so they could do with either reshifting the gears or whacking a sixth gear in there and um, getting that you know bit better ride happening instead of feeling like you're really revving it out in fourth gear I apologize if my gear changes are horrible this is the first time I've actually done a running commentary and it it's quite daunting I usually just ride and veg out if you know what I mean like you get on the bike and there's just some type of zen you just click you don't have to worry about what's going on around you. So yeah. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I'll pull over relatively soon and do a bit of a walk around on the bike. Just give you a brief look at what I've done to it. We've just sort of done a bit of a run around from where I live back through um, Glendale up through Cardiff back down sort of into Rankin Park got a fucking dude here that just wants to build into there he's in a hurry by the look of it we'll pull over and I'll give you a look just to say this is what I'm on Not going to neutral sometimes. But yeah, this is what I'm riding. Got the custom exhaust there. The pod filters. Got a bit of tree stuck in in the front there. But yeah. Everyone's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. But I hope you can get a good view. Custom rear number plate mount as well. So, yeah, there she is. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I hope to see you around the traps. Oh. Son of a bitch. What happened then? Now yeah, it won't go into neutral. I wonder what the hell I did then. Did I put that? How did I put that in the second? Thanks for watching.